neo-Nazi is trying to create what's being described as a training group in Maine. Now a state senator wants top law enforcement to go after the group and its leader. CBS 13's Mal Meyer is live in the studio with why the lawmaker says this is not about free speech, Mal. Well, Staff Senator Joe Bavacci says that he's been watching this issue with the so-called blood tribe for a while, but now he says it's gone too far. These are posts from no neo-Nazi Christopher Polhouse on his Telegram channel, a platform known in part to be used by white supremacists. This is an issue between right and wrong. Hearing allegations that Polhouse is putting together a type of white supremacist training center in Springfield, along with documented professions of violence, is too much for State Senator Joe Baldacci. This needs to be stopped. This needs to be checked. Uh, we can't allow this to happen in Maine. Polhouse himself has used sort of bombastic language in the past, saying, you know, that uh, things like that there will be a war. Ben Pop is with the Anti-Defamation League. While this has been the case, he thinks there's another reason for the Springfield site. I think that's really their ultimate goal, is to create a space that is only for white supremacists. Finding a good place to consolidate is important. That's exactly what Polhouse described during a recent podcast with another known neo-Nazi. This photo from our media partners at the Bangor Daily News shows part of this site on Moore's Road. There's a bunch of people who I have moved just from me just talking about it. What makes Polhouse concerning to organizations that watch hate groups is that he's well connected to other groups like NSC 131, which has been active in Maine. We've also seen him work with uh, something called the Goyam Defense League or GDL, uh, which is a anti-Semitic network. Senator Baldacci is planning on writing a letter to the governor and top law enforcement, asking them to put this issue at the top of their agenda potentially prosecuting anyone stirring up violence. All legal avenues need to be explored and used, not only to bring pressure on this group, but to try to force them out of this state altogether. Now, Baldacci hopes to get bipartisan backing on the letter. We did try to find a way to contact Paul House directly to ask him about what he's exactly doing at the site, but we were unsuccessful. Maine does have a history of hate groups in the state. That's coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Mel Meyer. Oh, I will see you then, Mel. Thank you.